Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jemima and on this channel I share all things hair and lifestyle. I think three videos ago I shared about my hair loss story and how I actually grew my hair back and in that video I talked about protein treatments being one of the things that I incorporated in my routine consistently which made a huge difference to my hair and I asked you guys if you wanted a video of me sharing some of my favorite protein treatments with you guys and some of you said yes so here I am delivering as usual let's get into the different types of moisturizing deep conditioners and protein deep conditioners that I have used and loved in the past. So I will start with the moisturizing deep conditioners. At the end, I will share with you three others that I have but have not used before. Just so if you're wanting to, to try those, you can as well. I'm probably gonna try them at some point but just haven't had the time yet. So I'm going to start with this Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment by Shea Moisture. I absolutely loved what this did to my hair. It felt moisturized and strengthened. So this is what it looks like. It's very thick. Let's just look at the ingredients list, right? The first one is water. So that's good. And then the second one is seeds citril alcohol and then caprylic triglyceride and then there's the castor seed oil so in this deep conditioner it seems to have a lot more emollients and all the other stuff humectants and then when you get to almost a quarter way down of the ingredient list then you see it's it has hydrolyzed vegetable protein so this is a good moisturizing deep conditioner the name suggests that this is a protein treatment but we know that it cannot be a protein treatment because it has more moisturizing properties than strengthening properties which would be the hydrolyzed protein now if this was a real protein treatment the hydrolyzed protein would have been in the top part of the ingredient list at least within the top five ingredients so yeah this is a good moisturizing deep conditioner if you want to try one thing that i also wanted to say is that if you are protein sensitive these type of moisturizing um, deep conditioners are good because the protein is so far down the list that it won't really do your hair as bad as if you used a full-blown protein treatment so definitely give this a try if you're protein sensitive and see how that goes the second moisturizing deep conditioner that I have tried and loved since 2020 is the Equibotanics Babasu Deep Treatment Moisture Mask. I love, love, love this product because of the simplicity of it. It has some amazing oils and butters in there. Um, and then towards the end of the ingredients list, it has baobab tree protein in there. My hair feels so, so moisturized after this with just like a hint of strength and I love that feeling. It also says here that it's highly concentrated and this lasted me a good a year because obviously I don't use it all the time, but I think I probably got about four uses out of it and I have a lot of hair so when it says it's highly concentrated it's no joke it's highly concentrated so it's a family owned black business female owned as well um, it's a Nigerian lady amazing amazing product I love the marula oil leave-in conditioner love 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 it just like the moisture that it gives is just unmatched it's so good um, it's a little bit out of my price range for something that 
I am going to like buy all the time because this is 30 pounds the 100 mil is 15 pounds but it's so worth it and if I could afford it all the time I'd buy it but I think I'm gonna stock up during the Black Friday this month I mean this year so that's what I'm gonna do so don't sleep on this brand Equibotanics definitely check them out they have amazing amazing products these are my favorite too if there's one thing you need to know about me is that I don't care about shampoo I don't care about any of those other like cleaning product but give me a leave-in conditioner or a deep conditioner any day obsessed i have so many leave-in conditioners and deep conditioners because i believe that i can use any shampoo whether it's stripping or has all the sulfates and blah 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 it could mess up my hair but i can use any of these two to fix it isn't that amazing so i have always been like this i can use any shampoo on my hair but I will not use just any leave-in conditioner or any deep conditioner in my hair because I deem those like more important than the shampoos because I know the that they're more of like corrective products especially the deep conditioner so yeah anyway I digress the next deep conditioner that I like that is moisturizing is the Afoji Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor. I like to use this when I can tell that my hair needs a little bit of a, of a boost, like when I touch my ends and then I see little bits coming off or I can see that it's not in a little bit more than usual, but then I don't have time to do a full-blown proper protein treatment like I'd like to, then I'd go in with this two-minute reconstructor. It says to leave it in for like two to three minutes, I think, but I end up leaving it in for about 10 to 15 minutes whilst I'm in the shower. And it does the job. My hair feels strengthened. Um, it also feels soft. It says it adds strength, softness in one step and quick and effective against the heat and chemical damage. So I love this for those quick protein boosts that I, I may need, but then I don't have um, time to do like the real thing. So looking at the ingredients list, the first one is water followed by glycerin, which is a humectant. And then there's like other stuff like mineral oil and then it goes into like other oils and then you see hydrolyzed vegetable protein and that's like towards the top so it has more protein than any of these moisturizing deep conditioners that i have used but i still also wouldn't count it among like proper protein treatments because it doesn't have a very high amount of protein in it compared to like a proper protein treatment which would have the protein as like the second or the third or the fourth ingredients to be like a hydrolyzed protein so definitely use this if you're experiencing damage but not too much like you need a little bit of protein but you know you don't really have time to do the real thing you can use this until you have time so that's what I do. Another one of my absolute favorite moisturizing deep conditioners is this Camille Rose Algae Renew Moisturizing Deep Conditioning Mask. I absolutely love this product. So the description for it is that it's a vitamin packed moisturizing and strengthening treatment infused with blue green algae now when we look at the ingredient list the first one is water of course followed by aloe vera juice which is our humectant and then followed by shea butter which is our emollient and then followed by coconut oil and then the list goes on it has glycerin at some point but a lot of this is just oils and butters and then towards the bottom you have the algae extract which i believe that's probably where the strengthening properties come from because everything else is just like oils and butters it's so so good guys definitely try it 
So whilst editing this video, I realized that this deep conditioner contains MSM towards the bottom of the ingredient list. And this got me really excited because I started using MSM this year after my hair fell out for the second time. I haven't shared that yet, but that's coming in another video. And that just made me really excited about this product and I'm really looking forward to restocking. I love that. I like the feel of this. Um, it keeps my hair just so moisturized and it feels strengthened at the same time. And yeah, there's, I've got nothing else to say. It's that good. So definitely try it. So next is the Sunny Isle Jamaican Black Castor Oil Deep Conditioner. I don't have that right now i've not used it for probably like two years but that's what i used to use consistently before um 2020 when i found a whole different protein which basically took me to the next step in my hair care in terms of like hair health and strength so yeah i had to move from just the moisturizing deep conditioners that had a little bit of protein to like proper protein treatment to see different results and to move from shoulder length hair to bra strap length and then mid back right now so yeah definitely check that out that was really good for me at the time for the hair goals that i had so next i'm going to share with you products that i i have but i haven't used and all these were gifted some through um the treasure trust box i am going to put the their instagram and also the link to their website and also a subscription code so that when you do subscribe that uh, you can get a i think it's a 10 percent discount so it's actually a 25 percent discount and you can get that using my code limitless bloom 25 i got some of these products from there actually all of these products i got from the treasure tress box i mean the products that i'm about to show you i got from the treasure tress box so the first one is the trepidora quinoa repair deep conditioner i haven't tried this like i said but it looks like it's really good. The reviews are amazing. And if we look at the ingredients, it's got water, it's got citril alcohol, then it's got Inca Inchi oil, then it's got coconut oil, then it's got a few more chemicals. Then it's got um, cocoon butter and then it has hydrolyzed quinoa so i guess that's where the strengthening comes from it has amazing reviews i'll put some on the screen when i find it so i'm really excited to use this especially for the tight curl girlies the people who are curl training their hair they would love this so the next one is the imbue curl restoring intensive mask and i haven't tried this also but it looks great i haven't checked the reviews or anything but based on the other products that i've tried especially their leave-in conditioner if that's anything to go by i'm sure this will be equally good as well so looking at the ingredients it's water cetyl alcohol propylene glycol um some other stuff that i can't pronounce and then there's cocoa butter something something seed butter some more chemicals and then it's got shea butter coconut oil then it's got three different types of hydrolyzed protein so it's got hydrolyzed corn protein hydrolyzed soy protein and hydrolyzed wheat protein so it does say intensive mask so yeah it's got the protein in there and it's bang in the middle of the ingredient list so that's quite a bit of protein for your moisture balance as well so yeah definitely try the imbue curl restoring intensive mask if you're looking for a new moisturizing um deep conditioner so the next one is this Shea Moisture Moringa and Avocado Power Greens Reconstructor with Kale, Matcha and Green Algae. 
so I haven't tried this yet again but I am sure it's good I'm just going to look at the ingredients so it doesn't have quite a long ingredient list as the ones that I've just spread but it's got aqua and then cetyl alcohol it's got glycerin and then it's got moringa oil avocado oil shea butter and then it's got hydrolyzed silk protein that's where the strengthening is coming from so yeah I'm not sure about this I haven't looked I haven't used it before I haven't checked out the um, reviews on it but it has moringa oil which is good it's got avocado oil and it's got a lot of other greens so definitely try it out if you're looking for a new moisturizing um, deep conditioner that also has protein so now moving on to my all-time favorite protein treatment that I have been using since 2020 and when I shared my hair loss um, story this product was literally the impetus to the to the growth that I saw and just the everything that changed about my hair that was good I would literally chuck it up to this product and also with other stuff that I am doing other healthy hair care practices that I, I was doing and still do right now so drum roll it's the protein defense by Anytan hair studios now all you can see in here all of this all of this is pure hydrolyzed protein it hasn't been mixed with nothing else so this says that it's a concentrated and pure ingredient it provides amino acids to help defend the hair it helps keep the hair elastic by controlling the, the rate of moisture loss from the hair supports maintaining the natural structure of the hair by replenishing the voids of the hair and preventing further weakening of the hair so that's what it says and like i said before do not use on hair without diluting with a conditioner so that's what you need to know about this product if you didn't learn anything from this video know that this product you're not supposed to just put it directly in your hair you're supposed to mix it with a moisturizing conditioner and how I use this is I mix it with this Tresemme conditioner so this is a rinse out conditioner moisturizing conditioner I've been using does anyone remember the Tresemme naturals conditioner that came like years ago when the natural hair movement like started over 10 years ago that's when I started being natural and I've since then I've always got one of this in my bathroom I tell you no lie I love this so much because I like like I said I'm a very I'm like a moisture girl I don't care about shampoos and stuff but give me a conditioner a good conditioner a good a good deep deep conditioner a good leave-in treatment any day right and I like to just slather these things in my hair. So I like, this is cheap, like three pounds and you get 900 mil, so almost a litre for three pounds. So it's really good. You, you need to mix this protein because it's all protein. You need to mix it with a moisturizing rinse out conditioner, not a, a conditioner that has protein in it. No, 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 that's a no, no. It needs to be fully moisturizing and you mix it so the ratio is one of this teaspoon to three teaspoons of conditioner or tablespoons whichever you like but yeah this this duo is literally my go-to and if i never had access to any other conditioner this would do me good like forever and ever so i know like i'm being quite dramatic but it's that good like i have all these protein treatments that i try and some when when i like it and i finish i wouldn't buy another one because i know that this is my staple 
like i always have this at home i might try other things but i always come back to this when i need serious protein treatment this is what i go to because this is like top notch and all you're getting is strength from this okay but then you need the moisture to balance it out so your hair doesn't fall out if you use this on its own you will be bald <laughs> so yeah if you want to try out this protein treatment i'll put the link below and when you go let anita know that i sent you okay that i am the plug so that she can know that i'm spreading the good word for her product also i buy this with my own little coins you know none of this is gifted um i love her products she has like other products like scrunchies made of mulberry silk i buy those as well i love using them in my hair like this one so yeah when you go let her know that she's got supporters here and we love her product and yeah an alternative for anytons protein treatment would be this real protein treatment by green beauty i'll also put the link down in the description box so if you're in america and you don't want to be paying no huge delivering fees then definitely check out green beauty's product i've not used it before but her reviews are great this is the end of this video and i'd like you guys to give me suggestions of other protein treatments that you that you love and use or any moisturizing deep treatments that you love and use as well so that we can all you know experiment find different ones if we need to find different ones and and just so we can have sort of like um, a little bit of a review going on about different products which will be great so thank you for watching if there's anything that didn't make sense definitely put questions in the comments and i will answer as always i'll put links to all the products that i've mentioned either on amazon or on the respective websites of these brands in the description box thank you so much for watching if there's any videos that you want me to make definitely let me know and don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you as always see you in my next video bye